detail about grade explanations, the uselessness of Blackboard, and the importance of things like self-service Carolina and possibly Starfish. Now, this is our Blackboard gradebook, and it is completely bonkers because although the first number will always tell you the total points you've earned in the class, there is a total available points in almost all my classes that really exceeds the number of points anyone needs to earn. And that's because I give you different options to select different assignments that fit better with your schedule or your way of learning or whatever best suits you to learn while in the class. It's not one size fits all. Everybody doesn't have to do the same thing. I like to learn from different people with different ideas and different ways of using their talents to demonstrate how much you have learned. So for example, the first person on the list uh, has only tried to do 99 points worth of assignments, but has earned 96 and above 90 points is an A. For some reason, Blackboard is telling some of the users how many total points are available in dividing. So if you have 103 points, that's an A. If you have 118 points, that's an A. It doesn't matter that there are 197 total points because you don't have to do them all, but I can't make Blackboard stop using their stupid color coding or dividing things. I only add the points from the assignments you actually do. And there are more assignments than you have to do, obviously. If you look at your total and you are not 90 or above yet and you are happy with what you have, for example, if you have um, 71.7, that's a C. If you have an 81.96, that's a B. And if you have an 85, that is a B or possibly a B plus. If you aren't, if you aren't happy with those grades, then you could certainly do a couple more assignments because there, there is still time left in the semester. But if you have 90 points or if you have even 89.96 points, don't worry about it because I did um, have a special wish day when some of you asked for extra points and I didn't even add those in. So this is Self-Service Carolina and this is the place where faculty enter your official grades. There's there's actually a student self-service Carolina page that obviously I cannot access because I'm a faculty member, but I think you have a menu that looks maybe a little bit like this, except for you can't enter grades. So uh, when I enter your final grades that go on your transcript and that count toward your degree, this is what my grade entry place looks like. And there's probably a place in self-service Carolina, I would hope, where you can look at your transcript and where you sign up for classes, where you can see your midterm grades and your final grades for every class. It's you know not the most helpful thing in the world because it only wants to show me my grades from 2015. And then when I try to look at more recent, oh, then it shows me 2013, that's super helpful. Okay, finally, as you can see, I'm going to add in very soon all of the grades, but not yet, for my classes that are this this spring so I just wanted to let you know about that difference and um, not tell you not to let blackboard freak you out because I know at this point in the semester it's easy to forget basic information and I also realize that a lot of people think that your blackboard grade is official or means anything other than a rough estimate that blackboard in my class never can get right so Self-Service Carolina, final grades, I'll enter those soon. Blackboard, not official, but you need 90 for an A, 80 for a B, 70 for a C. I hope that clears everything up, and just email me if you have any questions. Have a great day.